Your success at quitting porn and rebooting your brain comes down to you answering and getting really clear on one question. And more than likely, this question is not the question that you're thinking that it potentially is. It's not, how do you resist temptation? It's not, how do you not give in to your triggers? It's not, how do you not look at pornography? It's not, how do you prevent triggers and urges from manifesting and appearing in your life? All of those need to be clear. You need to know what those answers are. But the most important question is what we're going to re reveal to you in this video. But before jumping in that, guys, I remind you who we are and what we do here. My name is Frank Rich, CEO, founder, and head coach at Rebuilt Recovery. And it is our mission to help men break free from the shackles of porn addiction through the power of faith and fitness. So if you're new to the channel and haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. And also turn those post notifications on so you are notified every single time a new video is released. And if your guy is in the early stage of trying to identify all the ways in which porn is having a negative impact in their life, and if you're curious about what life would look like for you once we need to remove this destructive habit out of your life, make sure to download our free ebook. It's the seven step guide to living life without porn, where I walk you through the exact process and system that we have used with over 2000 men here at Rebuilt Recovery in the last 18 months to help them identify all the ways in which porn is having a negative impact on their life. But more importantly, how can they take that and build a proactive plan to get them out of the depths of this addiction? But then how can they develop the discipline, the willpower and execution and find themselves and hold themselves accountable throughout the process? So that's what we reveal to you in the seven step guide. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure to visit the page and uh, visit the link in the pinned comment below and your email address will send the book over to you guys right away. Okay, but there's one question, man. There's one question that you need to get really, really clear on the answer before you even start this journey of trying to remove pornography out of your life before you even start in creating a plan. And it needs to become a question that sets the intention for how you live your life on a daily, weekly, monthly, and for the remainder of your life basis. And the question is, who do you need to become to live porn free? Because once you know who it is you need to become, and what that person is and what character traits, what disciplines, what daily habits, what daily activities does he does he partake in? And then what things does he not partake in? So in its simplistic form, who do I need to become may seem very shallow. But if you get underneath it and you really understand what the question is asking of you, everything else trickles out from that point. So I gave you a couple of examples of maybe some of the questions that you're thinking you need to get answered on. How do I resist temptation? How do I not give in to my triggers and my urges? How do I keep my eyes focused and centered on what needs to be focused on as opposed to letting my eyes wander and gaze off in certain things? How do I not give in to the temptations? How do I not look at pornography? All of those questions come back to who do I need to become in order to achieve them? If you're trying to resist temptation, understand that there's certain character traits and disciplines in your life that you don't yet possess. So the answer to how do you resist temptation is to become the man that resists temptations. Same thing with your triggers and urges. Instead of saying, how do I not give into these triggers? Empower yourself by saying, who do I need to become that in the moments of feeling the urges, in the moments of feeling the triggers, I don't give in to them because it's in that process of figuring out what man doesn't give in to those urges that you've now developed a system and a plan that you can attack and acquire those skills and acquire those character traits and develop those disciplines and to develop those willpowers. So you don't give in to them. Every day, if you started your day with the first five minutes of finding one thing to be grateful for, but then asking yourself this one question, who do I need to become and who I need to be today to not look at pornography? Because then it's in the moments when you're feeling the rush, you're feeling the trigger, you're feeling the pull to go find pornography. Because you set that question up earlier in the day, now you can have a level of conscious awareness and re-ask it. So in the moments when you're sitting there in front of your computer, you have your phone in your hand and you're contemplating, should I go down this path? These urges feel really strong. This triggers, I, 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 I'm going to give in to them. But you pause for a moment and you ask yourself the question, who do I need to become and who do I need to be in this moment right now to continue down this path of living a porn-free life? 
Because men, what we focus on grows in our life. And this is something I've had a conversation with a lot of you guys out there. You're focused too much on your problems. You're focused too much on the issue with pornography. Every day, you're starting from the place of, I've already lost this battle. I've already given into it. So you're focusing on the problem. Where I'm telling you, focus on the solution. The solution is becoming the man that doesn't look at pornography. It's rooted in the philosophy of our entire organization here at Rebuilt Recovery. The only path to living a porn-free life is to become the man that can live a porn-free life. The only path to overcoming your addiction with pornography is to become the man that is no longer addicted to pornography. So ask yourself this question. If you're just getting started, maybe you found this video, maybe you're just coming off a, a relapse. Maybe you just had a moment of lapse judgment. Before you begin to take the next step forward down your journey, ask yourself the question, in five years from now, if I'm going to be living porn free, then who do I need to become? And start there. Start by projecting it further out into the future. It's what we teach in our curriculum. This is part of the week two assignments. We're going to have you paint a vision for your life without pornography. And I'm asking you to go to three to five years into the future. Not so that you can just create a vision board for the things that you want but that you can get really clear on who you need to become in order to achieve that. Because once again, goals without plans is nothing more than a wish. If we have a goal to set to live a porn-free life, then we need to have a plan to become the man that can live a porn-free life. So start by projecting it out three to five years into the future. Then zero it back. Come back to maybe one year from now because things are going to change. You need to be a different man one year from now than you do five years to consistently live a porn-free life. And then ideally, I would say set a target from somewhere between 90 to 120 days. And this becomes your main focus right now because you got to get through the rebooting. you got to get through the rewiring process of your brain because you'll begin to see things a lot more clear. But the first 30, 60, 90 days are at the utmost importance. So have a plan for 30 days. Have a plan for 60 days. Have a plan for 90 days on who it is you're becoming. But more importantly, man, I think it's important for us to ask this question every single day. Especially in the beginning. Who do you need to be today to not give in to those urges? Who do you need to be today to resist those temptations? Who do you need to be today to not look at pornography? That in and of itself is a question that will solve all of your problems. Who do I need to be today to ensure that I don't return back to my porn addiction? It's something at three years into this, I still set as the guiding aim for every single day of my life. Now, there's a lot of other things that we built into that. And that's what we teach you through our curriculum. That's what we teach you in the seven-step guide. But the one takeaway from this video here today, men, is if you really want to live a porn-free life, then you must get really, really clear on who you need to become and who you need to be in order to remove pornography out of your life once and for all. Guys, I really hope that today's video spoke to you. Hope that it helped. If it did, drop us a comment down there below. Let us know the biggest takeaway, guys. Let us know who you need to become. What things in your life do you need to remove? What things in your life, what habits, what character traits, what disciplines do you need to begin to build? So it's an addiction, it's an addition and a subtraction equation. Certain things in your life right now you're gonna have to get rid of, you're gonna have to sacrifice. But then there's certain things that you're gonna need to begin to develop in those lives. So let us know down there, guys, below. Like I said at the beginning, if you're looking for some help and you're looking for a strategy to help you get out of this, download the 7-Step Guide. It's the number one resource on the internet to help you begin to create a porn-free life. But Frank Chris from Recovery, I love you guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the other side.